What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Caesar with Caesar Gets Crypto, and we are looking at Bitcoin today. You can't see my face because I am on a rooftop. Um, you can see the streetlights. I'm on vacation right now back in my hometown. It's the 4th of July, so not in conventional settings. Um, long story short, I have a baby. So, you know, this is the uh, most quiet, appropriate place that I could think of to do this. So, anyways, without any further ado, if you guys hear any weird sounds, it's probably the wind or cars. So just bear that in mind. But we're going to get started on this TA real quick. Looking at Bitcoin. All right. <clears throat> So my last video, I think I made last night, I was saying that it looked like we were going to have a little pop-up. Ultimately, of course, you know, I think that we're going to go lower from here. I did think that we were going to move up originally back back somewhere on this day. If it wasn't, I think it was this day, actually, the top day that I was saying we, we were going to move up from here before having a sizable pullback. And um, sizable, sizable for Bitcoin really isn't much. Man, I'm cold, <laughs> if you can't hear it in my voice. Um, sizable for Bitcoin really isn't much like a pullback from here to the 618 you know from top to bottom that's a 13 14 percent move and that's actually pretty average for Bitcoin so so that's I mean that's that's the average sizable move for Bitcoin most most altcoins and stuff they do like 20 30 50 70 percent drops you know what I mean so anyways anyways I did say that the four hour looked good um, the RSI here it was showing strength bouncing off the 50 and I said that it wouldn't surprise me if we went if we went up again it wouldn't surprise me if we took out this high it wouldn't even surprise me if we took out this high but I did expect that we would inevitably move lower before moving up too much higher and we didn't quite break this high but we did break this one and I, th I just think man we're forming we're forming like a triple top of some sorts maybe you know we could we could be going up from here it's totally possible but let's see Whew. I mean at a closing basis man this candle and this candle they're they're perfect right this one's slightly higher slightly higher but I mean the the RSI man just way I don't know way different readings here it could go higher it's possible no volume really to back it up right you're having Look at, oops, look at what happened. I'll show you. Back here on this move, you had all this volume here, right, coming up. And now you've got no volume coming back up, right? You're, you're not, I don't know if you're going to break out of this range at the moment. Um, I mean, it's possible. But like here, when you bottomed, you had a lot more vol. I mean, not more, a lot more volume, but you definitely had comparable and higher levels of volume. I don't know, man. I'm... I get hung up on the volume sometimes. Volume really doesn't matter too much. Price can do whatever it wants, honestly. Um, I guess I'm just leaning on it because it's it's my bearish bias, which I definitely have at the moment. Um, I do think it goes down from here. I'm still convinced that this is not the low before we take out significant areas above this. We could go a little bit higher. Maybe we actually don't take out this high. Maybe that high holds. Um, but I do think I do think we inevitably take out this low and we, I mean we will take out this high eventually but at the moment I'm definitely bearish I'm bearish kind of on most of the crypto market right now if we look at Bitcoin BTC dot D let's see what we got going come on now <clears throat> on a daily perspective we dropped off just a little bit had a little correction we're at points where the dominance to me it looks like it wants to start going up again and generally, that's not a good thing for crypto. Um, you know, at the best, that just means Bitcoin takes off without the rest of the uh, without the rest of the pack. At worst, and kind of the average expectation would be that Bitcoin drops, everything else drops more. That's kind of uh, how it goes when the uh, dominance takes off. And again, I don't use this word often, but there's something parabolic looking about this man, and you don't want to get in the way of that. Um, at least, you, I mean, as far as like being against Bitcoin, it'd be it'd be a good time to own Bitcoin compared to most assets in crypto. You know, just just saying that while saying also, I do think that it goes down. So maybe it's a good time to own dollars. I don't know. Um, let's see. Four hour. Yeah, man. 
you're just not getting the same strength that you were getting before. Yes, you're showing strength here <clears throat> as opposed to showing weakness. But when you broke out of the range and you made strides higher, this, these were the readings you got, right? When you were held down, when you were buckled down and you weren't quite ready yet, these these were the readings you got. You know, very, very similar where you just can't sustain prices up in this oversold zone for too long. On the daily, to be fair, <clears throat> it does look like you're in the oversold zone, which is just crazy. You um you actually came down out of the over I'm saying oversold, I mean overbought. You came down out of the overbought zone and you actually came back up into it. And I don't even think I think this is the lowest drop that's ever happened in Bitcoin's history, maybe. Um, with that, yeah, 6.4%. Maybe I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure any time that it's on a daily gone from being overbought to coming out of overbought, it's had at least an 8%, 8.2% or something like that drop. So this is this is kind of an oddity in itself. I would expect that we go lower. Um, you've got a high here, lower high here, and this is even a lower high. While you have a high here, a very similar looking high and a higher high here, it's, it's a form of bearish divergence. You can see that it's getting weak, right? Um, you're getting back into the overbought zone here, but you're not showing strong moves, at least not at the moment. You know, there is potential for this to keep going. To prove me wrong, I would say get back up in the overbought zone on the uh, four hour. Stay in there. You know what I mean? Break out of this range. Break out of it. Like literally to break out of this range, you would have to move. Let's see. Um, move at least to 32K. Go to 32K. And, uh, you know, then I'll eat my words and that's not too far away from here. That's totally doable. Bitcoin could do that in, in an hour. It could do that in a split moment. But again, at the moment, I'm definitely bearish. I do think that we probably come back to this purple line somewhere around there, maybe just a little bit above it. Um, we don't have to touch the purple line. That's not like too significant as far as like bounces are, although you do see it bounce here. Um, and we did have a nice bounce here. I'm not expecting that to happen. It could happen, but I would expect more of a bounce above it. And the reason why is because from bottom to high here, the uh, the one six one eight's above it. The one eight eight six is even above it, and the one two the one two seven two is above it. So somewhere in this range between twenty eight point nine k to twenty seven point eight k, somewhere in there, I bet we bottom um, before turning up higher. And again, those kind of moves come at you from the current price. You know that's a uh, that's a drop anywhere of like 3%, or I'm sorry, 7% to potentially like 11%. You could have a 7 to 11% drop from the current price. And if we stick to the average, the average idea here that anytime you've been overbought and you come out of it and you go down, the um, other, other than this one time, from top to bottom, you drop 8.2% at a minimum and just below 14% at a maximum. That's kind of like the... Uh, the average expectations and that would be around 27k to 28.9k again so so i do think it goes lower that's you know not, nothing's really changed there i did yesterday again i did say that we'd move higher this this is not out of the uh, expectations i'm not worried about this at all on my on my bearish stance on the four hour it definitely looked like we were showing some strength um, but this is a smaller term time frame where on, on the daily i don't think we're showing strength i think we're actually showing weakness um Prove me wrong on that by, by doing that, I guess. I mean, to a certain degree, we are showing strength by closing higher. This is the highest daily close we had. Um, we did get back into the overbought zone. That is showing strength, but not a, not a higher high. We didn't break out of it. This is kind of like a fake move of strength, right? This, is, this isn't like true strength in my opinion. So, so on the daily, the RSI to me, we've been overbought for a while. We should cool off. We're showing bearish divergence even. We should cool off. We had a nice a nice move up without any sizable pullback, anything that's like average or to be expected with Bitcoin. So, you know, and we've we've if we were gonna move up, I feel like we would have done it already. Why why not on this day when we wicked up? Why not why not on this day? You know, how come this day on the top that we had, this was just a little bit higher than this big move that we had? You know, I think I think we've just been range bound. We went up and now we're about to see the tides shift to the downside. That's that's kind of my uh, expectation. I feel like I'm rambling. So with that, you know, looking, we'll, we'll go out to the monthly real quick and end on a bullish note. On the monthly, you have a very beautiful bounce off the 50. Confirmed bounce, bullish engulfing candle, just the whole nine, man. It looks it looks great. I definitely expect July to close green. Um, it opened at $30,400. So however low we go this month, guys, I do expect it to close green. And if it doesn't close green, I don't expect it to go. I wouldn't expect us to close below uh, 29.3K. I really wouldn't expect that. So whatever we do, 
at, at the end of the month will definitely be above 29 point maybe not definitely but very likely be above 29.3k um that's above this range here right that we closed out of and that would be in this price range here there's beautiful things to come man the last time that we were in this this low of a price range or at this price <laughs> the last time we were at this this price when we were this low in this price range we went all the way up to new all-time highs so could we go from here to 70k 60k yeah definitely definitely done it before it took one two three four five months that was it that's it so we could definitely do it um by the end of this year even but i don't i don't know if that's going to happen i don't necessarily know if we're quite ready for that but i do expect this month to close green i do think that you know at some point in time over the coming week to weeks we'll have a little pullback and i'm just repeating myself now so with that you know if you like the video leave a thumbs up subscribe to see more and I do request, guys, I do request if you have any coins or stocks or whatever that you want me to chart, do some TA on for you, feel free to ask. I'm more than more than willing to do it. Um, if, I, if I'm ever late on them, it's like a day or two late. And that's just because sometimes life is busy, man. I don't, I don't know. I'm just full of excuses with that. But I really try, I really do try to get them out as quickly as I can, as is reasonable, um, without it affecting my, like, my livelihood. You know what I mean? Um... Uh, because I do have a real life as well outside of this where, where I have like real needs that, that are needing me. So I can't always do this. Um, and it's kind of nice that I can do this now, but it is coming to the end of the night for me. So I, I really have to wrap it up and, uh, appreciate all you guys. Thank you very much. Have a good night. Happy fourth and stay safe, blow some things up, but in a good way, in a, in a very bright and colorful way in the night sky. Just have a great, have a great fourth, everybody. All right. Take care. Bye-bye.